Hello and welcome to the second part of my La Liga jersey review for the 2018-19 season. And yeah, we're not having that many huge teams in here, but we'll start off with a big one. Athletic Bilbao, and because it's Bilbao, I put it right here. Bilbao comes after Betis. Um, we have the home kit, which is made by New Balance. And again, they, it has the New Balance quirk with this black stripe from the uh, shoulder. But other than that, this actually looks quite classic. It's This is what I call Barcelona striping. These are the types of stripes I want to see in Barcelona. Um, take this, replace the white with the blue. And you have a Barcelona kit here. Uh, maybe we can do something about the black. But yeah, I actually like this one. It's very uh, simple. I actually, in this case, with such, the, with such white stripes, you can also have uh, monocolored sleeves, in this case in red, and it looks nice. The only thing that I'm not so sure about is the color, but that's a minimal thing. I even like how the sponsor is actually quite nicely fitting with the overall uh, jersey. That's a great effort. Um, I would like to see Bilbao with some light, uh, thinner striping, but other than that, I think this is a nine-star jersey. The away jersey is also kind of an interesting look. Again, I hate the New Balance stripes. I will say it every time that we'll see a New Balance kit. These stripes going um, from the collar on the longer shoulders, I hate them. Uh, but yeah, I like the red crew neck collar. This jersey in a light blue and a kind of a darker blue. And um, also how the, even this pointed fade pattern. I think it looks actually quite interesting. Uh, the only minor thing is that why is the sponsor in black? I think this would have been a perfect opportunity to have the sponsor in all white here uh, and don't have the outline, the white outline around the black. But other than that, I think it's, this is a nice Bilbao away kit. Of course, I don't have a preconceived notion of Bilbao away kits. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I don't know how classic the blue is, but yeah, I would give it an 8 star. It's also not exciting, but I overall like it. Now from the northeast of Spain, we are moving to the northwest with Celta de Vigo, uh, made by Adidas. Yeah, these are typically Celta de Vigo, light blue, well, how, would, how you would expect it. You have the sponsor that's yeah maybe a little bit too big, but also looks nice. I like the color. I like also that how you cannot really see the Adidas strap. Even the Adidas logo is kind of hidden. That's an interesting thing that Adidas is doing of late. We saw it on the Belgium jersey during the World Cup. Uh, but that it's that hidden, that's a little bit unusual. Of course, with the light blue base, even the crest of Celta de Vigo, except for the red cross, is more or less hidden. But I actually like the simplicity of this one and even the sponsor, I mean, the sponsor is pushing it, uh, pushing the boundaries of being acceptable to me. But I think in this case, it's just, you know, it, it is one big logo. Uh, so that's why it's not that bad. I actually like the, the modern button down color uh, here. Yeah. I'm also going to give this nine stars. I really like that one. And if you look at the away jersey, yeah, that's the Condivo template uh, that we already saw in England a lot uh, and other, and I think in La Liga as well. We didn't see it in um, Italy. But actually, the colors here are interesting. It's purple and pink. This would be the perfect jersey for my bigger daughter. She probably would like me to get that one. Uh, I actually like it, honestly. I mean, do I like it as much as the home shirt? No. But I think. Uh, taking everything into account, yes, the sponsor could should have some similar colors. I'm not sure if the pink is the smartest choice here, but the purple and light blue, I think there's something about this. Of course, the crest is just stuck on, but at least the colors pop. I'm gonna... Yep. <laughs> I'm struggling with myself here because for many other teams, I would just say horrible, I don't like it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's just the logo stuck on it. But this one I like, uh, and I'm not consistent. That's why I'm uh, not giving. No, I'm gonna give this a seven. This is nice, uh, honestly. If you disagree with me, I do it for my daughter. She will like it too. Okay, and then we move to the other team of Barcelona, the one that has kind of a 
identity crisis I always feel, Espanol. Why? Well, you're in the city uh, that is the Catalan capital. In Catalonia, especially Barcelona, is kind of a sign for independence and, you know, resistance against being Spanish. And then you're called Espanol, which, yeah, is for the non-Catalans. That is okay. But then you write yourself in the Cat Catalonian way. Use the N with the tilde if you're so Spanish. This is a little bit of an identity crisis, and I think this is uh, hampering Espanol in a way. Well, we have all three kids here, and I have another picture that we'll see later with all three kids. I think this is in the Opera House of Barcelona, but let's look at them here. Uh, the home kit, this is a classic uh, Espanol kit. If, when I visited Barcelona, Espanol had such a kit, and I would have been able to get, get it. Because that was the weird, the weird thing. It was in the 1999 and the early 2000 that I visited Barcelona, I think a total of four times. And you cannot find anything Espanol related here. It's all FC Barcelona, FC Barcelona. I mean, I got the scarves back there. That's why I'm hanging them. And yeah, I'm, I was a little bit sad about that. But yeah, this is a nice kit. I actually like it. It looks almost classic Espanol. If you would ask me to make an Espanol kit, it would look something like that. And see how Kelme can make actually some reasonable looking kits. Not like Alaves where they went all crazy on them. So I actually really like it. Even the sponsor, although it's a little bit clunky, uh, Riviera Maya with the temple on there, that looks awesome. So, you know, I'm again not being consistent, but I actually like this. I'm going to give this nine stars. Um, the away jersey, yeah, this, the stripes here. Yes, it mirrors from the crest, but the crest has only two bands. So why do we have three here? I do like the sleeve cuffs. I do like the collar. Uh, it is something interesting and I still like the temple. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna give the away kit. Let's also go seven here. And then we have the third kit that is a little bit more Espanol Barcelona, I have to say. Um, the only thing is that here the sponsor is breaking up the center stripe and that's what I don't like. But the yellow with the white and the blue stripe and down the middle and then the crest, that looks actually nice. Maybe a better version rule would have been to use the stripe a little bit off center, let it run through the crest. Uh, also, I'm not so sure I like the sleeve curves in white with the blue pinstripe around and then you're not having this around the collar. So, while it looks more like an Espanol kit, it's actually not the best one. It's actually the worst of those three. And for that reason, yeah, I'm still gonna give it six stars. But yeah, <laughs> I like you here. You can see the full kit as well. Uh, in I think it's the Opera House. Uh, yeah, it all makes sense. I think Espanol has nice kits. Uh, the teams from Barcelona are looking good this year, one has to say. On to the next one. So we had two traditional teams. Now we're gonna go, yeah, three Celtics also traditional. Now we're gonna go a little bit less traditional with Hetafe, Getafe, Hetafe, I think it's called. Uh, the home kit is in light blue. I actually know too little about Hetafe. Uh, it is sponsored by Homa. Uh, and yeah. It's an interesting look. They have you know, the light blue base, then they go navy, if not black, along the sides and on the sleeve cuffs. Um, and then they have this weird, it almost looks like a claw went down. It reminds me of the Cameroon jersey of 2004, where they had the claw marks as well. Um, and then they use uh, the Spanish flag on the collar. I think it's a nice touch overall. Um, I assume these are the traditional home colors of Getafe, so uh, if it wasn't, then all bets are off and I would go crazy here. Um, I'm not sure about the claw marks on the sides. Uh, also the sponsor, this is a clunky sponsor, you know. I never like it when the logo is on one side and then uh, the writing is next to it. So yeah, sponsor also does not look that great. The color is weird. But I like how the Spanish flag is popping. Yeah, the crest has, of course, the tango style soccer ball, which uh, I don't like that one. 
Uh, but overall, there's something. There's just something about this jersey that I do like. Even the sleeve cuffs with the Spanish flag. Yeah, let's give it. It's it's one of the more exciting. Things. I'm giving it seven stars. And now here we have the whole set. They have of course one in red and then one in green. They basically all use the same design, just differently colored. So the away jersey is red. It uses the same color style, uh, same claw marks. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I, for some reason, since the um, red is also featured in Spanish flag, it doesn't pop as nicely. So that's a six and the away jersey in green Mm. There's no Spanish flag, it's actually blue here, blue and white. Maybe it makes more sense. I also like that the sponsor made here. Yeah, it's also a six. Yep. It's, uh, but at least they carry it as a consistency throughout the look because they carry the design through. And then the last one, they only have the home jersey for now, is the Girona. Um, very, very interesting. This is an Umbro. Uh, I'm always happy to see Umbro. Um, I like the vertical striping. Red, red and white. I really like that one. Also, the, see how the sponsor actually fits in. Now, I wish maybe that the color was black, similar to Athletic Bilbao. But this is an interesting kit to look at. And it's very non-traditional, but still nice to look at. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna give this nine stars. I'm gonna give this nine stars. This looks great. Even the even the sponsor sponsors is too line, it actually looks nice because you have the laurels down there. Girona, you have a nice home jersey. You beat out your Catalan neighbors from the big city. Well, that was it. Let me know what you think about these jerseys, uh, where you disagree with me. If if you agree with me, I would like to hear that also. And yeah, give me a like, thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these videos, previews, reviews, other jersey related stuff. I'd be happy to have you as my subscriber and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.